Hey friends, welcome back to my channel Hetal's Cornerstone. So in today's video, we will check out Duolingo English Test Images and time for three seconds. So in this video, we will check out also recently asked some images and another are just for practice. So let's begin with our video. Before that, if you are new in my channel, do not forget like, share, and subscribe Hetal's Cornerstone. So let's begin with the video. The first image we will see, this is asked recently. Can you guess the image? What is this? This one, Pottery. P-O-T-T-E-R-Y. And might be this type of image. So this is called Pottery. Next we will see, what is this? Hand saw. Next one, might be this type of image we will find. Or electric hand saw. Next we will see, Refrigerator, R-E-F-R-I-G-E-R-A-T-O-R, -E -E Refrigerator. This spelling will help you in the spelling also, right? So, next one is this refrigerator. Another one is a wolf, W-O-L-F, wolf. Might be this wolf, ice wolf, right? Additionally, what is this image? Can you image this image? This picture image we will find in agriculture, right? Rack R A K E rack might be this type of image we will find in the examination. R A K E rack. Another one. Okay, this is asked in the recently before two or three days. Grass or this type of grass you will find or this we will call grass. Another one, comb, C-O-M-B, comb, might be this comb or this type of comb, but if you file this type of image in the examination, then you can call comb. Another one, okay, this is asked before few days. What you will say? Ball, no, this is a, what? Wool, W-O-O-L, wool. Or this type of image we can call wool. Another one, what you can say, fence, F E N C E, fence, or uh, might be this type of image, fence, or this, so we will call normally fence. Uh, right. Next, okay, this is asked recently, can you guess the image? Fort, F O R T, fort, or this type of fort, or this type of you must know this basic name of this, like a uh, fort and wolf, okay, pottery. This they, they are asking this type of images. Next one, this is also asked recent, not recently, but before few days, right, compass. The one student told me uh, in the examination of Duolingo, they asked compass. But compass is also used in a geometry also. So I have provided you two of them. This compass or this compass. So we can call C-O-M-P-A-S-S compass. Uh, the one. What you have to do? Just you have to look the image and you have to speak the, that word. Okay. This one is Corn. So you have to speak the word corn and you have to press the next button. Okay. C O R N corn. This corn or this type of corn. So next we will see if this is a bird. If you do not know the name of this bird, so simply you can call bird. But if you know the name, then you have to say the specific word like a woodpecker. W O O D P E C K E R woodpecker. Next, this woodpecker or this type of woodpecker. If you find this image in the examination, so immediately you can call woodpecker. Another one, this one is a, okay, this is not a dog. It's okay, they are asking some, this image is like that. So, this is a puppy. P-U, double P, why this is not a dog. Right, puppy and uh, plural. Puppies, P U W P I E S, puppies. Right. Next, okay, this is a food item. You can see that what normally we can call them donuts, but name of this word is a duff nut. D O U G H N U T, duff nut. 
okay so you will find this type of image or this then we will call donut otherwise in normal terms we are calling donuts right Next. this is a mic but proper name is a microphone we can't call mic but if you don't know the name in the examination point of view so you can call that mic if you know the name otherwise then you have to speak microphone like this image next one we will see what you can find can you image this image octopus spelling is little bit awkward o c t o p u s octopus right or next we will see this type of image and next one is what you can say normally it look like a street light s t r w -E t l i g h t street light or you can say you can image this type of image maybe they will add or uh, that one next okay if you have this pick in examination then then what you can call it? this one is a solar panel s o l a r p a n e l solar panel next we will see this is a food item so normally we can call them what hot dog h o t d o g hot dog right next we will see this type of image another one doll so this is as recently in the examination before a day they asked this picture image doll or uh, if you can find go on further so you can call it barbie doll b a r b i e d o l l l barbie doll this is a beautiful doll you can call that another so this is as before a day barbie doll another one we will see this is a some this play that student told me that there is chess also or one person is playing two persons are playing chess right so if you file this image only this so you can call chess or one person is like that so you can call that the person is playing chess right normally they are asking this but children are playing in the ground and person is playing chess old man reading a book so you have to you have to just straight that image right so this is a chess next what you can call necklace but your pronunciation must be perfect n e c k l a c e necklace another one you will find this type of image so we can call that necklace so last one we will see this is what this one is a yoga mat if you find more than one so that's that's a plural if you find one then it's a singular so we can call that yoga mat y o g a m a t if you find one then you can call only mat you can call only mat this is a yoga mat okay so some of them are asked in the recently and a few of for just for practice might be they will ask uh, near in near future so be prepared well guys if you wanted to know another video so please comment me in the comment bo box uh, yeah, another video like uh, during your speaking writing or you want to go for ielts in ielts writing speaking reading or writing so please comment me in the comment box i will try to provide you that type of video for your references so thank you guys be prepared bye bye now